Hello everyone, in this video, let us talk about uh, what kind of site uh, we are going to build using uh, Drupal 8. In this particular video series where I am uh, creating series of videos on Drupal 8 and I'm trying to show you guys how we can build uh, a great website uh, using uh, Drupal 8. but for the first part of the, this series, I want to create a blog. So in this particular video series, so far you have learned how to uh, set up your uh, environment. You can of course uh, you use uh, online services like uh, Pantheon and I believe uh, uh, you can also use MAMP which is also quite good because it will give you the ability to create a website on your local uh, Mac or maybe you can use uh, VAMP or XAMPP if you're talking about Windows. So once you have your environment set up, once you install uh, your Drupal, you can start building. But before I create those videos where I will be uh, showing you how to install your Drupal and how to set up, how to start setting up your website, I just wanted to quickly show you what all we are going to do in the first part of this video series. So I want to create a simple blog. So that is my objective. And we all know what a blog is. Blog is nothing but a website where you have, uh, of course, uh, content that you regularly update, where you basically add content uh, maybe every week or maybe every day, depending upon how often you want to update your blog. But blog is nothing but uh, uh, but a place where you will probably uh, give regular updates to your uh, audience. So if you look at this particular example, I have uh, my blog called uh, ravisaga.in and in this particular blog, I simply have this uh, main uh, navigation bar on top where I have my own logo, where I have some uh, links. So these links are uh, uh, taking the visitors to the major sections of my blog. And this particular website is uh, not very complicated. It is nothing but a simple blog. But there are a few elements that I wanted that, that I really want to cover in this particular uh, first section of my video series on Drupal 8. So in this particular blog, apart from uh, this main navigation bar on top, we also have this uh, slider, this image slider. So this is something that uh, I think uh, uh, looks good on a website. The moment you open a website, there is a huge image that is uh, trying to convey a message. And uh, we'll, we'll learn how to do it. We'll learn how to have a simple Im image. And uh, this particular slider is just showing me one image, but it can also have multiple images that can uh, shuffle. And if you scroll down further, you can see the list of all the uh, all the blocks that I have uh, that I have uh, written or I have been writing. So on top you will see the most recent blog because that makes sense. You want to display the most recent article, the most recent blog on top, and uh, and so on. So basically you have all the blogs listed here on your home page. And in this particular blog, I if you look at the layout, I have this particular uh, navigation bar which is covering the whole width of my of my web, web page and then i have this image slider which is also covering uh, uh, almost the entire width of uh, my web page but of course i have this uh, left and uh, right uh, section which is uh, uh, a bit uh, empty and uh, if you look at the uh, the content uh, section where you actually have the blocks you have uh, this main section here which is uh, uh, showing me the blocks and on the right hand side i ha also have this uh, area where i am displaying some blocks so we'll be creating a similar layout uh, we'll of course uh, do this when we talk about the themes and how we can use themes to change the appearance change the layout of uh, our drupal website and if you look at uh, this particular uh, listing of blocks i am of course showing the blocks that i am writing but i'm not, not really showing the whole blog itself i'm just showing this title and maybe uh, one or two paragraphs and then there is a link that will take me to the entire blog where i have uh, now 
the whole blog displayed now if you look at this particular uh, uh, particular page this particular blog i am uh, of course uh, not showing my image slider that was there on the home page i'm just displaying the entire content of uh, of my blog and uh, one thing which is probably common here is that uh, the the sidebar here on the right hand side it is uh, still uh, showing me the same thing that was there on the home page so this is something that i will be doing i will show you how we can display this uh, the uh, this particular sidebar and how we can display these blocks so these blocks on the right on the right hand side they are showing me the recent 10 post that i have written so these will stay as it is on the entire website then i'm showing uh, these images which uh, which is nothing but uh, uh, an image to the uh, books that i have written so these links will take us somewhere these links can either take us to a page within uh, our site or a blog or it can take us uh, to some external uh, link and then i also have this uh, section here that is uh, showing me uh, uh, of course some information about me and uh, and this is pretty much it it's a simple blog and of course if you scroll down further you have this pager so this pager will help the end users to find the old uh, blogs and there is also uh, this footer section so apart from this blog you can have uh, some other sections on uh, on your website. Uh, you can have uh, maybe an about us page where you just want to write about yourself. You can probably have your own resume or maybe you can uh, describe what you do, what you like, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you can also have a contact page where either you can have some text or you can have this form. And if you fill this form, you will receive an email and the person who is uh, filling the form will also get uh, an email. So if we talk about a blog, in a typical blog, you just need to have, uh, of course, your main navigation followed by maybe an image slider, which is also, also good. And then your listing of blogs, maybe uh, some uh, some section on the right hand side that will probably, dis probably display some additional information and uh, more or less this is a very simple blog but uh, we will learn how to create this blog first using the uh, drupal out of the box theme and then we'll change the theme to make it look uh, different so you can also do the same thing when you're building your own blog with the drupal so in the first uh, series of uh, building a blog with drupal it will give you a very good foundation of uh, working with uh, Drupal and that is what that is what my objective is I really want to uh, show you how we can uh, uh, use Drupal to build a simple blog and then once once we know how how to build a simple blog once we have the uh, the right knowledge of uh, Drupal terminology and uh, the fundamentals of Drupal then we'll start doing some advanced uh, things in uh, Drupal so I hope you enjoy this uh, video series and um, I hope you also enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you very much.